Okay, we're back. I'm pressing ready. So we, we can't actually play against the uh, people yet, still. We, won't let, won't let we still yet. can't. We need to get you up to level 3. It should be pretty quick. Yeah, though. this should be the last one, I um, think, probably. Before we... <laughs> I'm almost there. Hopefully, because we, we do need to level up um, the archers as well as your oh, I see. general. So, so maybe I'll just really um, be aggressive with them and get in there. Does it, does it matter if you, like they all die, if, if you get a lot of kills, or does it just get a surprise? Um, you know, just, yeah, maximize. Don't worry too much. Um, but... Um, yeah, get as many kills and there. and the other thing is getting into the um the the zone at the end so yeah to capture their base. You gotta be you there, it. yeah. Get those points. I think yeah. there must be points yeah. for being there, right? Like bonus points. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So what do James and who are you playing with? James and uh, and Daniel. Yeah. Yep. What what kind of units do they like to play with? Like are they cavalry or infantry? Um, or? James jumps around quite a bit. Um, I think he should stick to cavalry, which is. You know, quite difficult to master, but if you mm. can, um, it's devastating, right? So, you yeah, know, it's all re pretty realistic. Really... Yeah, so with cavalry, you really don't want to get um, hunkered down into a fight. Oh. Uh, you oh. want to keep running around, so it's quite a bit of micromanaging. Um, you know, making sure you're not getting flanked, moving around, making sure you're not stuck in a battle for too long. Um, you only have the three you know, units, though. That's, yeah, you're able to focus on that, right? So I, I could see that being yeah, quite yeah. a lot of fun. But, yeah, but it... it, it it can do, it can be tricky if you're trying to attack multiple units. If you're ah. concentrating on one unit, okay, but like all of a sudden you have three units that are doing different fights. You're making sure none of them are getting flanked. You're making sure they're not in battle too long. It can pull you around quite a bit. Mm. Um, so so that's I think he's good at that. Um, but he also does you know everything from phalanx to um, some uh, slingers or, or stuff like that. Um, Daniel Daniel and I have been doing a lot of catapult work which has been a lot of fun because you know at some point you've got pretty strong range mm. um and, and you're able to hit behind the uh the lines the enemy lines so it uh it's fun to it's very gratifying to see a legion get carved in half by a boulder you know it's uh it's nice when it happens hmm. but um, you have to be careful not to hit your own guys as well right so it must be Oh yeah. Well, it's in terms of getting points. Um, I'd say archers are pretty good. Uh, catapults are very difficult to uh, get a lot of victory points because, um, yeah, you do get some, you know, um, friendly fire, which reduces your XP, um, and uh, you do also have to have line of sight. So you have to have one of your um, allies, you know, that has eyes on the enemy. If, if you want to actually target them, so hmm. sometimes your 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 range is limited by, you know, what you can see. Okay, actually we can let's see. Yeah, I'll, I'll come right next to you there. Yeah, start there. Go on the right side. Does so it you have to press like ready now, or it just happens? It just works. Nope, no, it just happens. Yeah, we got 13 seconds. There's a lot of ships there. That's interesting. Can we go across the beach. It's a it's a really cool. <laughs> these maps are awesome. I think this yeah. is Thermopylae or something. <clears throat> No, this so, looks like Marathon. It would be Marathon, but I mean, it was described as Marathon. Marathon. Yeah. Which is yeah, exactly okay. that, the fact that the ships were there, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's kind of got that really epic, um, you know, Which should we take here? Connection. Is that you on the right? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go straight down the middle. Yeah, because we're against the computer, they just all seem to pile through the middle, basically. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so there's not too much strategy here. Like, it's kind of boring, what right? What kind of but, unit are you? Just phalanx here? Or, 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 or uh, no, I'm like early... I'm, I'm pre-Marian reform here, so I think <laughs> I'm like... You know, what am I? Just like... So what's the strongest infantry? Like, like is, is it phalanx or legends? These in this game, like, that's... that's well, again, it, it totally depends. Like, um... As, as a sword, um... Character, it, it, it kind of depends. Armored legionaries are, are, like, tanks, right? They're gonna take... They're gonna soak up a lot of damage. Mm. Um, your your best like attacking sword infantry are actually barbarian like like naked dudes. <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> they have the highest really like uh, attack. You mean like on the, yeah? Yeah, they're highest like attack. Like they can shred through armor uh, surprisingly. So th they're they're quite strong. But you know, on the other hand, even though um, legion legions are tanks, if you go up against a phalanx with yeah. a legion, um, you're gonna get just poked to death, right? So, 
yeah, you really have to be conscious of what kind of characters you're up Wait, against. Sorry, so you, so between Phalanx and Legion, you said which one was better? Like against each other, just well, face um, off. against each other, uh, uh, Phalanx is going to be better. Yeah, they're because they're, just, they're, they're more heavily armored, right? And they have that, yeah. Yeah, they're just going to poke you from far, right? And um, you're going to take a lot of casualties. You know, you, you might eventually... If you flank them, then you... maybe, but, but he... Uh, face Flanking off. is good, yeah. yeah. So, so the big thing with Phalanx is that you know they're hard to get through for all infantry but yes. once they're flanked they're they're screwed right? well, that was kind of i mean that that was the, always the point i think i think the legion was yeah. never be able to beat them head on it was only a different terrain and mobility that was the advantage like phalanx was still i'm better. gonna get a good flank on these guys here have nice. a look at this i'm coming on the right hand side here you you kind of as infantry you want to hold unit back typically just to yeah. watch your flank right see where i can do these fire arrows there's too many guys here right now If you, you can attack ground, I guess. Let's see, here go. Here's where my fire arrow is going. <laughs> nice. You see that? <laughs> yeah. I love the zoom in on these games. It's awesome. If you click your general too, you like zoom into your general. Oh, yeah, which is kind of cool. Oh, you I'm, just click back out. Bad that she can't like. Oh, she's also an archer there. Eh? You see her fighting? If she's like infantry, then your general will actually fight. Yeah, Does I can zoom die? into my general. Um, he's one of the, he's always the last guy in that unit to die. Oh. But. You know, if you do have like an infantry unit, um, but you're mainly um, depends on how you plan to play. But your general should be a unit that's not going to die right away, and you want to protect them. Yeah. Because if you lose your general, uh -oh. um, you lose those their their skills. I got you. You lose their like uh, abilities, so you don't want them to die. Mm. Oh, you got flanked there. I did. did you? Yeah. I put. I, I dropped cow traps. I don't know if that'll help. Yeah, here, pull away. Yeah. The the cavalry guy just tried to help you yeah, out. There, I'm yeah. gonna run in yeah. as well. There we go. Oh, there's caltrops. They can't follow me now. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm gonna charge into them. <laughs> I should cease firing, probably. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this will be a good fight for us, I think. Yeah, I gotta get XP here. Oh, his enemy here. I'm gonna use my fire arrows. Fire. Well, you, does this game ever played at night time? That'd be awesome if you like fire arrows at night. Um, is there, is there a night time mode? I don't think there is yet. I'm sure uh, I'll I come think eventually. A lot, oh yeah, there, there's a lot more that they have Didn't to Total do Total War yet, have like a night time? I remember it had like night time. Yeah, definitely. I think night we got him here. Rain. There's nobody here it, pretty much here, right? Like I'm supposed to be firing. Yeah. Like you, that. you might as well start running already. Yeah. Like start going forward. I would just get in position to um, start chewing through the uh, the fortress. Yeah, I'm heading that way. Like double time running. How you? A few guys are left over. They're like, "Hey, wait for me!" <laughs> I'm trying to catch yeah. up. Maybe that unit is mostly dead. Let's see. No, they just left behind. That's all. Is there a way to like? Is there command groups? Let's see. I want to control one. No, just one. Okay. I want to select, What's that? I want to select everybody. Is there a button to select all my troops? Um, I just usually sh uh, control click them all, but I don't know. I don't know if there is. You just select them all. If you just go around, you get them all. Yeah, you can do that, or you can kind of click on their images. Yeah, but I want to get them all just selected. Control the problem, but yeah. we'll just control click them. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's another way. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Got them. Yeah, it gets much more compelling when we're up against uh, real, uh, real players. But I mean, there's so much for them to expand on here. Like, there's there's some really cool maps already. You get into Tudorberg Forest, um, um, cross the uh, the Tiber, all, all sorts of fun kind of locations. Oh, here they come! Yeah, getting in there. Ooh, our buddy on the left side is getting flanked. Fire! <laughs> oh, he's coming this way. Oh shit! Find the feet of our enemies. I dropped caltrops. <laughs> oh no, he ran over my caltrops. Oh my god. <laughs>
Are you gonna flank him there? Flank these guys? Oh yeah. Let's stop firing there then. We move on. Yeah, I would start hitting right into the main yeah, base. Right in there. You got two. One of your units is in the front, eh? And the one is on the left. Yeah, I'm kind of jumping around a little bit. I'm heading there. Yeah, I would just jump in the base so you yeah, get some uh, early. cap points. Anywhere in the red is okay, right? I guess. Yeah. Yep. Over here. The flag's coming down. I'm really hoping at some point they get into the siege modes as well. That would yeah. be really interesting. I mean, the game has always had that back in the day. I remember when yeah. you shut down the walls and stuff. Well, siege was always the most frustrating because they couldn't get the AI work. So mm. I think uh, a good multiplayer siege would, would really be a fun uh, aspect. How do you not know how many? I was going to say how many units are left. If a number track, um, oh yeah, so there's a few different things to look at. Um, I'll show you in the next yeah, one. Yeah, it's gone now. Let's see. I might be ready to play human. Oh, I might be hopefully level three. Let's see. This I'm, commander I'm is still in, in battle. battle. What? I don't know. It's so annoying. It just glitches out sometimes. We just have to wait it out. I don't, I don't press switch. Then I just wait. Or. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't want to switch because yeah, you can use another up. general. Like the interesting thing, if you lose early in a match, like your all your guys are dead, you could exit the game and play a different general, and you can keep going mm. uh, while you you wait for your points from that other one. So sometimes it's nice to switch, but so the points no, actually won't really. come till the the battle's fully over. That's why it's not right. Showing up, which is funny because the battle is over, but hmm. we'll just. Uh, Wait for them you to... Get plus, what's this? Plus 10 uh, unit XP. Reward bonus for party matchmaking. Oh, so if, you, if you're in a party, you get plus 10 XP. Mm -hmm. There we go. Looks like it. Gave it. Continue. Let's see. Am I level 3? Yeah, I'm, I'm level 3. Hopefully my units will be as well. Let's see. Yeah, let's look at your level, your units. What do I do for me first? Do, do I do any upgrades for myself here or for my commander? Um, okay, let, let's see. So your archaic... Um, right now. Yeah. So again, what you're going to want to do is just upgrade the tunic first. Oh, let's do my arches first. Okay, let's go. Let's see what they got. Yeah, uh, yeah tunic. Here we go. Let's do that. So if you're able to afford that, and then go over to Archaic Bow if you're able to afford that. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. And then you should be pretty much ready for level 3. Yeah, let's see. How do I get to level 3 again? I gotta go... Oh, Ionian Archers? You couldn't buy this unit, but you... You could buy this unit, but you do not have enough unit XP or free XP. What? Okay. So, uh, does it allow you to use a mix of unit XP and general XP? Let's see. Uh, I don't think so. I think that's a, that's an issue, eh? Like, I, it, it, how much does it need? It needs 1,700 green XP. I'm 200 short. So and how much uh, blue XP do you have? 500. In the top so right. I have 500 so blue. So should in, be enough. In theory, I should be able to buy them, but I don't think it, it lets you mix the match. Eh? I think you have to. Um... It's... Oh, hold on. Um... Let me see something here. Yeah, I don't know. Um, they, you should be able to pay for it with with the combined total. Yeah, it says you could buy this unit, but you do not have enough unit XP or free XP. But combined, they should be enough. That's really weird. But I mean, if I play one more battle, it'll, it'll do it. Is there anything I should do for myself, though, here? Like, in terms of my own abilities? Or that doesn't really matter right now, because I might not stick with the general. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. It, it, that is the best general for archers, I think. Because mm -hmm. she gives you that mobility with that running. Um... So I wouldn't get away from her, but yeah, I mean the speed, the movement speed is useful is to stack up. The, the blue XP you have in the top right, that's for all commanders, right? So if you like that's yeah. for commanders and for like I said, should be for yeah. But like it, it's one combined it. pool, so if I get another commander, it also yeah. taps. That's yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. 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 So it's a valuable resource later on, right? Right now I can um, buy uh, plus one percent. One percent movement speed is nothing. I won't. I won't spend anything on her right now because I don't know if I'm sticking. Yeah, don't worry about that too yeah. much right now. So let's just uh, do another one, I one guess. One more, and then I'll get to level three. Unit. Yeah, it yeah. won't let me do it. It's weird. Let's just do it. Just Hopefully, we get this in because I'd, I'd like to play at least one 
Yeah, human one. Um, yeah. Human one with you. Well, let's just be super aggressive this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, I like the game because you can you can once you get to the appropriate level, you can just have a couple of quick games, right? It doesn't have that mm -hmm. commitment of hours and hours to play. It's it's so good for that, yeah, for sure. And the James is in different time zone, but uh, for weekends, so, like I could play like on a, on a Saturday morning. It yeah, yeah. We usually we play in the mornings. It, that's yeah. that's what he kind of, um, usually works for us all. So. Okay, I'm gonna stop the record for now while it's.